ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತೂರ್ತಿಭೇದಯುಭಾಗಿನೇ ಸಹನೌಗ್ನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಜೀತಮಸ್ತುಮಾಶಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂ ಚಾಂ ಚಾಂ ಚೇ ಯೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಜಾತಿಪುರೋ ಯಾಗಶ್ಚ ಪ್ರಣೋತಿ ತಸ್ಮಿ ತಗುಂ ಹದೇವ ಆತ್ಮಬುದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಮೋಕ್ಷರೋಯಿ ಶರಣಮಹಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂ ಚಾಂ ಚಾಂ ಚೇಹೇಂತಿಕ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧಮಾಧಿಮಧ್ಯಾಂತವರ್ಜಿತಮಾನಂದಘನವಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿರೂಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಅನುಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಶಬ್ದ ವಿದ್ಯಧಿಕರಣ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಹೇತುಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹೇತುಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಅನು ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಶಬ್ದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಧಿ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ಹೇತುಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಜೀವಾ ಹೂ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ವೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಸೊ ಕರ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೇತು ಅನು ಅನು ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿ ಸಾ ದಟ್ the activity which has to be done across two days between that one has gone to shushupti thereby one who continues the work which was left by the earlier jiva cannot be a different jiva it is the same jiva who has finished half of the work on the earlier day then anushabdena pratyabhijna so soham iti atite apahani etc so we saw that uh, i am the same one who saw this ghata yesterday and i am touching this ghata so one who saw the ghata and one who touches the ghata who recalls that this ghata is same and knows that i have been continuing across these two days thereby pratyabhijna also is a pramana for that there is also hetu for that to know that the same jiva wakes up then the third was smriti so one recalls in the pratyabhijna component there is a smriti included but smriti is stated as separately because mere smriti is also hetu for that so it is the same ghata that was existent yesterday that memory also shows that it is the jiva who is continuing across days across shushupti so same jiva wakes up from shushupti as one who went to shushupti then this fourth pramana is shabda shabda is shruti pramana shruti is also a pramana to that effect that was quoted and then vidhi as to the karma and upasana as ordained by the dharma shastras they are also pramana because they cannot be ordained for jiva who is different from one who has gone to sleep if phala has to be given it cannot be given to a different jiva who has woken up to the one who has done the karma before going to sleep or even karma or upasana which is ordained to be done continuously it cannot be done by different jivas it has to be done by the same jiva who sleeps across many days in his life so all these are hetus for establishing that the same jiva who went to shushupti avastha wakes up i am repeating this because there is a question regarding to this perhaps it was not clear i uh, sped through towards the end of the patha i hope it is clear now purvam soham iti by this the adhikarana is over the karma anusmriti shabda vidya adhikaranam is over the mugdha adhi adhikarana comes up now in the context shushupti has been taken we have seen jagrat avastha we have seen swapna avastha we have seen shushupti avastha there is no fourth avastha so if there is no fourth avastha what is this uh, state of swoon or comato state or where a person does not have in modern science we know that does not have enough blood supply to the brain so what is called as syncope etc where a person goes into an epileptic attack or you know 
hands and you know, there some limbs are moving one may be yelling out also may not even know that one is doing that some kind of an epileptic state where the brain is not getting sufficient uh, blood or it is uh, in a different mode altogether disconnected from the sharira rest of the body meaning uh, signals have gone haywire and the muscles are acting very weird and then there are some uh, very scary hand and leg movements also you know the vagendriya has gone wild yelling out or whatever the eyes are open uh, so all these eyes are open but they are not really seeing they are seeing at a distance so all these uh, are uh, the states which can be included in uh, uh, in the uh, state of murcha what is called as murcha or mugdha avastha both words are used murcha and mugdha so what is that state now is it uh, same as sushupti or is it different from sushupti so in the sandarbha that kind of a question comes up so it is being dealt with in the next adhikarana purvam soham iti pratyavijnana sushupta pratibuddhyaikya uktam the person who has gone to sleep is the same one who wakes up meaning the waker is not different from the one who has been the waker before the deep sleep state the waker on the second day is the same as the waker on the first day mean the jeeva who is on the second day considering the sleep is only at night we are considering whenever one goes to deep sleep during the day also so considering across days if one is sleeping only at night then the waker to is same as the waker one this was established by what pratyabhijnana pratyabhijnya or pratyabhijnana has the same meaning there so ham iti i am this i that entity i am that entity i waker to recollects with pratyabhijnya i am aham i am what saha that waker one waker to has this anubhava which is called as pratyabhijnya as to what aham saha i am waker to who is that waker one so purvam soham iti pratyabhijnana due to that pratyabhijnana as hetu what was established susupta pratibuddha aikyam uktam the pratibuddha pratibuddha is the waker on the second day and susupta is the one who has gone to sleep so the waker one who has gone to sleep is susupta here and waker two is pratibuddha between them there is aikya they are one and the same entity they are not different this was established by which hetu pratyavijnana and what is the form of that pratyavijnana soha aham saha aham soham i am that entity i am that very same entity who went to sleep and i am waking up now tadvad vishesha bhava pratyavijnana at सुषुप्तिरव मूर्छा दृष्टातसंगतमाह विथ दृष्टातसंगति एज एन एक्सापल दिस् मूर्छा इज सिमिलर टू सुषुप्ति वाय तद्वत् जस्ट लाइक सुषुप्ति तद्वत् विशेष अभाव प्रत्यभिज्ञाना बिकॉज ऑफ दि प्रत्यभिज्ञा प्रत्यभिज्ञान और प्रत्यभिज्ञा ऑफ विशेष अभाव in sushupti there is no vishesha there are no there is no swapna prapancha there are no swapna prapancha objects there are no jagrat prapancha objects in murcha also there are no jagrat swap, uh, or swapna objects present there is no prapancha there therefore sushupti and murcha should be considered as equal says the puro pakshi tadvad vishesha abhav pratyavijna sushupti reva murcha इति दृष्टांत संगत्या इदमाह सो विद दैट दि मुग्धादिकरण कंस मुग्धा हैज द मीनिंग ऑफ मूर्छा मुग्धादिकरण दि सूत्र देर सिंगल सूत्र मुग्धे अर्थ संपत्ति परिशेषात मुग्धे अर्थ संपत्ति परिशेषात भगवान सूत्रकार असेस मुग्धे इन मूर्छा अवस्था मुग्धे 
अर्धसंपत्ति परिशेषात ओनली दिस अवग्रह शोज ए संधि है अकारा हैज बी ड्रॉड बाय पूर्व रूप संधि विषय अभाव therefore this vishesha abhava which has been mentioned yes that is same as sushupti that is true but there are some differences also in sushupti avastha versus when you compare with murcha avastha that shows that it is a half sushupti state it is not a complete sushupti state where there is absolutely no connection with the world sharira has no movement at all but in murcha avastha the sharira has movements the indriyas also have can have some movement which is not possible in deep sleep state so thereby it is not sushupti itself it is ardha sushupti we can say that it is half deep sleep state and half is not what is that half that we'll see but and how do you conclude this it is by parishesha parisheshat due to परिशेषा मीनिंग ड्यू टू दिस मूर्छा नॉट बीइंग इट ड्यू टू नॉट हैविंग अ पॉसिबिलिटी टू इंक्लूड मूर्छा इन एनी ऑफ द अदर थ्री स्टेट्स व्हाट इज कॉल्ड द पारिशेषन न्याय बिकॉज ऑफ व्हाट इज द ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी रिमेनिंग since it cannot be included in jagrat avastha since it cannot be included in swapna avastha and since it cannot be included in the sushupti avastha complete but some samya is there therefore we have to include in sushupti avastha but not completely partially this is the parisheshanya anyatra antarbhavasya abhava that is the parisheshat parisheshanya uh, this is the sutra artha दिवृत्ति से अत्र पूर्व पक्षे मूर्छातिरेकार्थम न पृथक प्रयचितव्यम पूर्व पक्षी से दैट मूर्छा अतिरेकार्थम न पृथक प्रयचितव्यम यू शुड नॉट मेक मोर प्रयत्न मे टेक मल्टी मोर एफर्ट एज टू वॉट दिस वॉट इज दिस मूर्छा मूर्छा इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम shushupti for that you should not take a lot of effort why no separate effort not lot of effort no separate effort needs to be taken prithak na prayatitavya separate effort need should not be taken need not be taken to establish what murcha as separate atike atirekartham that murcha is atireka is separate from shushupti avastha for that prithak separate effort is not needed न प्रयतितव्य वन नीड नॉट टेक एनी एफर्ट वेर एज इन सिद्धांत देर इज एन एफर्ट नीडेड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज इस मूर्छा अवस्था देर इज एन एफर्ट नीडेड देर इज इंक्वायरी नीडेड टू सेपरेट आउट और इंक्लूड दिस मूर्छा अवस्था वॉट इज दिस अवस्था वन हेज टू इंक्वायर सिद्धांत पृथक प्रयतितव्य फलभेद एफर्ट इज नीडेड some analysis is needed without that you cannot just assume that murcha is also sushupti avastha says the siddhanti atra kim murcha avastha sushupti antargata uta atirikta iti sandehe sushupti antargata iti purva paksha so purva paksha purva paksha is what purva pakshi says this murcha avastha is included in sushupti sushupti antargata when the doubt is what whether it is included in sushupti mur किम अत्र किम मूर्छावस्था सुषुप्ति अंतर्गता सुषुप्त अंतर्गता इट इज अस वेदर इट इज इंक्लूडेड इन सुषुप्ति और उत अतिरिक्ता और इट इज सेपरेट मूर्छा इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम सुषुप्ति इति संधे व्हेन देयर इज अ डाउट पूर्व पक्षी से डेफिनेटली मूर्छा इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सुषुप्ति अवस्था इट इट कैन बी इंक्लूडेड इन दैट सिद्धांत सिद्धांति से न तव स्वप्न जागृति मूर्छावस्था अत्र ज्ञानाभावा 
inquiry is needed what kind of inquiry is needed you have to see whether shushu uh, whether murcha can be included in jagrat avastha swapna avastha or shushupti avastha because you see the limb movements you see somebody yelling out or saying something indriyas are working we don't know whether gnanendriyas are working but we know karmendriyas are working there is hand and leg movement even in coma which is not epilepsy in coma also sometimes there are some movements limb movements are there although the brain is not functioning the way it is supposed to be functioning but the person is not dead because modern science will look at whether the brain is active or not whether the heart is pumping or not all these whatever are the you know whatever is considered as death in modern science that is the definition by which they'll go based on that whether the person should be on the ventilator or not all that is based on uh, of course area wise country wise also there are laws which will govern as to what should be done with this comatose person whether the relatives have a choice or not all that is based on the uh, medical law and the uh, based on the desha or states as it may be in us etc what we have to understand is that the sharira the way it acts in shushupti avastha the way it acts in swapna avastha the way it acts in jagrat avastha based on that we have to include it in one of these states in jagrat avastha it is very clear the indriyas are working the uh, karmendriyas are working and gnanendriyas working based on that karmendriyas can be used by the person to make a statement and establish a fact that that person's gnanendriyas are working in swapna avastha the same person can has the experience of a waker however the person who is having a look who is overseeing this person who is who is sleeping so yeah, let's say chaitra is sleeping maitra is watching over maitra cannot know whether the whether chaitra is in deep sleep or is dreaming or is awake and is acting like he is asleep maitra by just looking at it for a short duration of time cannot make such a statement if he sees that the person is chaitra is moving over from here and there maitra can say oh he has you know he is not in deep sleep he is he is almost awake so at that moment if he has to wake up then it the you know it will be very easy to wake up as we saw earlier you know generally uh, culturally we don't wake wake up a person who is in deep sleep because is merged with ishwara this is culturally uh, traditionally some significance is there now by looking at what this person is acting out at times you know in modern science we know you know the uh, rem sleep what is called a rem sleep rapid eye movement by that you can make out some sense that he is dreaming or uh, by eeg you can make out some sense uh, you know alpha beta theta waves as to what state may be but the person who is looking over my maitra is seeing chaitra sleep by rapid eye movement or whatever uh, he is blabbering something thereby one can assume that the person is dreaming some statements he is making that is also possible there are some people who sleep walk or they talk all that can show that the person is having some kind of a dream in deep sleep state there is no movement this is how we will make the differentiation from the perspective of the onlooker and thereby what na tava swapna jagrite murcha avasa however a person who is having an epileptic attack or uh you know who is uh, go, has gone into coma in in a coma you can uh, you know you have to depend on the doctor to make an assertion as to what is the condition of the patient now so this person this chaitra who is in deep sleep or he is he has gone into coma modern science will differentiate whether he is sleeping or whether he is in coma that can be differentiated so based on that also this state is separated out but what does the shastra say based on this uh, avastha of the person how can you differentiate murcha avastha is it same as 
स्वप्न और जागृत अवस्था इट इज नॉट न तावत स्वप्न जागृत है मूर्छा अवस्था दिस मूर्छा अवस्था के नॉट बी इंक्लूडेड इन दी स्वप्न अवस्था और जागृत अवस्था वाय अत्र ज्ञानाभावात अत्र मूर्छा अवस्थाया ज्ञानाभावात बिकॉज इन स्वप्न एंड जागृत देर इज ज्ञानाभावा द ऑन लुकर डजंट नो बट ऑन वेकिंग अप इफ यू आस्क दी person who was dreaming he knows that there was some jnana therefore from the perspective of chaitra if you look at it where will you include chaitra wakes up and says that i was having a dream therefore this murcha avastha if chaitra had murcha avastha he cannot make such a claim so he knows that uh, the sapna avastha whether, whether there was sapna avastha or murcha avastha one who wakes up from this coma does not remember seeing anything there is absolutely no dream or anything such kind of an experience there may be dream here and there that may be possible we are not denying a possibility of shifting from coma into some other state and going back to coma we are just looking at this murcha avastha as an epilepsy or uh, you know coma where it is that entire duration in which he was in epileptic state or in coma to state so considering that murcha avastha cannot be included in sapna avastha jagrata is very clear the person has absolutely no idea as to what is happening so he does not know that he is awake so i, I have some uh, you know first hand experience with my father uh, who had uh, epileptic attack therefore i know as to how this uh, state appears to be for the onlooker also it's quite a scary uh, thing to look at so atra jnana bhavat and then i know that uh, the person who was in epilepsy did not recall as to what happened he didn't even remember uh, uh, being uh, taken to the hospital carried etc had absolutely no memory of that so therefore jagrat and sapna it is not na pi marana avastha so is it considered as death it appears to be dead all right sometimes you know because eyes are open tongue may be outside uh, there is absolutely no body movement at time but suddenly there will be some body movement therefore marana avastha it is not why prana ushmano satvat prana is going on prana is continuing therefore it is uh, and also ushmana means there is a uh, the body retains heat also if you touch the body in murcha avastha then there is uh, prana movement you can feel by the breath you can see the bre- breath may be very light also at times there is a very shallow breathing but you can make out especially those who are experts in the field they can definitely make out with stethoscope you can make out then the sh- temperature of the body does not drop in marana the temperature of the body will drop so in uh, murcha avastha the temperature of body is retained it it will not go down to the marana avastha level the body does not go cold napi shushupti then why not include in shushupti to that siddhanti says no it, it cannot be included in the murcha avastha is not shushupti avastha why bhayanaka vadanavatvaadi lakshana bhedat because there is a difference bhayanak some scary you know sounds are made vadanavatva movement of the uh, karmendriyas whether one is yelling out or uh, because if uh, some voice comes out because the brain has no control anymore the person does not know it will continuously go on till the vadana indriya drops on its own the prana movement which is actually making this uh, speech possible not speech some sound possible that goes out on its own naturally without any controlled by the person who is in murcha avastha so these are some lakshanas or the limb movements etc adi padena this makes a difference from shushupti avastha in deep sleep such movements are not there kintu kintu parisheshat so if you have to differentiate what is the differentiator now parishesh what remains that has to be seen it cannot be included in jagrat swapna shushupti and marana also the person is not dead then where do you include it include it so thereby kintu parisheshat if you this parisheshat is sutra sutra shabda sutra gata shabda prasaktasya pratishede anyatra aprasangat 
शिष्यवाणी वस्तुनी यस संप्रत्यय स परिशेष वॉट इज परिशेष परिशेष हेज बीन यूज एज हेतु वॉट रिमेन्स दैट इज एक्सप्लेन फर्स्ट टू यूज इट एज अ हेतु प्रसक्त से प्रतिषेधे वॉट एवर इज एवेलेबल एज एन ऑप्शन अमॉंग दोज इफ यू कीप ऑन एनलाइजिंग एंड सीइंग विच ऑप्शन इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल हियर सो प्रसक्त वॉट एवर इज एवेलेबल वॉट एवर इज पॉसिबल एज एन ऑप्शन तस् प्रतिषेधे when that is seen as not to be applicable jagrat is not applicable swapna is not applicable marana is not applicable susupti is not applicable anyatra aprasangat shishyamane vastuni and elsewhere it cannot be included when one is negated as not a possibility which was a possibility earlier and elsewhere you cannot include then what will happen what remains across multiple options each of these you have to see can it be in this no it cannot be then elsewhere can it be include included that also is not possible if you keep on doing that then what remains shishyamane vastuni what remains in that vastu ya sampratya that which appears as the only possible remaining option sa parishesha that is the one which is the only option possible that's all nothing else is possible this is the only option possible then that becomes a hetu parishesha that is the only possibility in which this murcha can be included tasmat mugdhe mugdhi murcha avastha mugdhi is what mugdhe mugdhi murcha avastha murcha avastha is called as mugdhi here tad avastha panne vishesh gnana राहित्यादि अर्धेन धर्म जातेन मूर्छावस्थाय संपन्न अर्धेन कंपनादी मरणावस्था धर्म जातेन च युक्त अर्धसंपत्ति मूर्छावस्था शुषुप्ति व्यतिरिक्ता एव इति अनवद्यम सो व्हाट इज दिस परिशेषा व्हाट इज दि परिशेषा शोन हियर वेन यू लुक एट दिस तस्मा मुग्धेन मुग्धमूर्छा अवस्था इन द मुग्धि मूर्छा अवस्था द मुग्धि व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज मूर्छा अवस्था तद अवस्थापन्ने व्हेन दैट स्टेट इज अटेंड मुग्धे व्हेन दैट स्टेट इज अटेंड विशेष ज्ञान राहित्यादिन सो तद अवस्थापन्ने सति मुग्धे सति व्हेन द मूर्छा अवस्था इज अटेंड इन द सूत्र मुग्धे मींस व्हाट व्हेन मूर्छा अवस्था इज अटेंड मुग्धे सति व्हाट हैपेंस देयर इन दैट अवस्था विशेष ज्ञान राहित्यादि सिंस विशेष ज्ञान इज नॉट देर सो अर्धेन धर्म जाते बाय अ ग्रुप ऑफ धर्म कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच आर हाफ हाफ ऑफ दैट मूर्छावस्था इन मूर्छावस्था विशेष ज्ञान राहित्यम इज देर मीनिंग विशेष ज्ञान अभाव इज देर देर इज नो विशेष ज्ञान बट दैट इज ओनली हाफ दि कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ मूर्छावस्था सिंस मूर्छावस्था संपन्न सिंस व्हाट इज दि पार्शियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ मूर्छावस्था देर इज नो विशेष ज्ञान जस्ट लाइक इट इज देर इन जागृत स्वप्नावस्था देन अर्धेन कंपादीन कंपनादीन अर्धेन कंपनादीन कंपना मीन सम मूवमेंट ऑफ दि बॉडी इज देर लिम्स आर मूविंग एक्सेट्रा और दि वागेन्द्रिया इज फंक्शनल prana is making some movements possible so ardhena kampanadina so many other things are happening which is the other half of this murcha avastha due to which it has to be separated from shushupti avastha so marana avastha dharma jatena cha yuktatvat so ardhena dharma jatena murcha avastha sampannatvat what is a vishesh gnan rahitya is one part then अर्धेन कंपनादीन मरणावस्था धर्म जातेन च युक्त देन हाफ ऑफ इट इज व्हाट मूवमेंट इज ऑल्सो देयर एंड लुक्स लाइक डेड एज वेल पर्सन एपियर्स टू बी डेड बट दी बॉडी इज मूविंग सो कैन नॉट बी मरण ऑल्सो एंड कैन नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड एज अवेक ऑल्सो बिकॉज दी अदर हाफ इज ब्लॉकिंग दैट कैंड ऑफ एन दैट कैंड ऑफ अ पॉसिबिलिटी शुशुप्ति कैंड ऑफ 
idea is also there marana kind of idea is also there but then the movements are also there some non marana non sushupti characteristics are also there therefore what yukta to being endowed with such kind of characteristics also partially like a sleeping or a dead person and partially like a uh, like an awake person therefore what yukta to ardha sampatti murcha avastha sushupti vyatirikta एव इति अनवद्यम देर फोर वॉट दिस मूर्छावस्था इज अर्ध संपत्ति पार्शियल सुषुप्ति हाफ सुषुप्ति कैन बी कंसिडर्ड हाफ मरणा ऑल्सो बट देन इन मरणा वन डज नॉट कम बैक देर फोर यू के नॉट से मरणा यू हैव टू से हाफ सुषुप्ति बिकॉज इन सुषुप्ति इफ वन गोज वन कम्स बैक इन मरणा वन डज नॉट कम बैक इन द सेम बॉडी देर फोर ऑल दो इट अपियर लाइक दिस मरणावस्था धर्म जाता है Ardha dharma is seen. Still, still what? It is sushupti only, partially do, not complete sushupti. It has to be separated from sushupti. It cannot be included in jagrat and sopna also. Therefore, partial sushupti, murcha avastha is what ardha sampatti hi. And it is different from sushupti. Sushupti vetirikta eva iti anavadhyam. This is anavadhyam. This is a faultless analysis. This is the only. possibility remaining by parisheshan nyaya and therefore you have to whether or not it seems appropriate to the purva pakshi it has to be accepted because it is not sushupti at all completely it is not sushupti because of the movements of the limb and uh, vagindriya etc working which is not possible in deep sleep state in sapna maybe it is possible but then you don't have sapna characteristics because in sapna what happens sometimes or most times one remembers one may not be able to recall and state details on waking up but then one remembers in jagrat definitely one knows therefore jagrat and sapna you cannot say it is because it is not jagrat sapna partial also why not call it jagrat sapna jagrat or sapna partially because uh, their recollection is there in murcha recollection is not there one can remember what one did in jagrat avastha one knows while doing in sapna one recollects after waking up what happened but in murcha one cannot recall therefore there is no overlap with sapna or jagrat avastha then partially what it will be if it is not completely sushupti it has to be partially sushupti so this is how the mimamsa goes our around analysis as to a logical conclusion where it would fit it cannot be in any of these three avasthas proper it cannot be in marana avastha also meaning it is other than the three avasthas there is marana so marana it is not mrityu it isn't then the other three also it is not having a one on one overlap partially also it is not having overlap with jagrat or sapna therefore parisheshan nyaya partial sushupti has no uh, has no uh, counter there is no illogicality there there is nothing to say that this is not possible just like it is there in saying partially jagrat or partial sapna it has not been said here but that kind of a thinking be, can be there an objection or a question can come in mind as to why can't it be partial jagrat or partial sapna it cannot be so it has to be parisheshatnya because what remains is this is the only possibility itham चतुर्भि अधिकरण ही उद्देश्य प्रथम जिज्ञास्यम तम पदार्थम स्वप्रकाश चिदेक सर्वावस्था विर्मुक्त निर्विशेष संशोध्य तिज्ञास उपरमानर अवसर संगत विधेयन जिज्ञास्यम तत्पदार्थ शोधय पादशेष आरभम मूर्छावस्थाय विरुद्ध सुषुप्ति मरणावस्था उभय धर्मवत्वत ब्रह्मण अभी उभयू दृष्टात अवांतर संगत देर आर टू संगति टू दि नेक्स्ट अधिकरण उभयिंग अधिकरण उभयिंग अधिकरण इज गोइंग टू इंक्वायर इन टू वेदर ब्रह्म इज सविशेष और निर्विशेष सविशेष इज वन ऑप्शन निर्विशेष इज अनदर ऑप्शन मीनिंग सगुण ब्रह्म और निर्गुण ब्रह्म और बोथ सगुण एज वेल एज निर्गुण सो उभय लिंग मीन्स बोथ सगुण एज वेल एज निर्गुण हाउ डू यू कम टू सच कैंड ऑफ एन एनालिस 
फ्रॉम सुषुप्ति मूर्छा इत्यादि सो इसे इत्थम भगवान सदाशिव ब्रह्मेंद्र से इत्थम इन दिस मैनर चतुर्भी ही अधिकरण ही थ्रू दी फोर अधिकरण विच एव गॉन बाय उद्देश्य प्रथम जिज्ञास्यम सी उद्देश्य एंड विधेय उद्देश्य विधेय भाव इज उद्देश्य इज वॉट इज नोन एंड विधेय इज वॉट इज अनोन वॉट इज प्रेडिकेटेड इन सेंटेन्स एनालिस इफ यू से राम वीर अस्त राम इज वेरी वेल नोन वीर द वर्ड एज अ सेपरेट वर्ड मे बी नोन बट राम इज प्रेडिकेटेड टू वीर राम इज ब्रेव so you know who is rama do you know he is brave that amsha is not known that amsha that part which is unknown is called as vidheya uddeshya is what what part of the sentence is known so if you are introducing someone as you know uh, to your friend you say this is my son so my in that amsha my is known and this you see in the front is also known that kid who we are seeing so the friend introduces your friend introduces to this is my son so this is my that much you know that son until he says son you do not know so son that putra esha mama putra so esha that amsha the uh, the body of the kid the sharira or the pinda what is called as pinda deha pinda is seen pratyaksha it is seen because you see that your friend is walking with this kid you know that there but you do not of course analysis is possible you can assume that it it has to be son but till that person says that this is my son you do not know that putra is vishesha which is unknown otherwise my belonging to me the, in that the person who says my that person is known to you therefore all that is part of uddeshya what is not known is is son or you can even say that the person who is saying is known but my is a sambandha that sambandha was not known as to my son this is a son but he, he can even say this is chaitra son maitra can say this is chaitra son i am just bring him along because i was taking my kid to the picnic i am bringing this kid also along imagine there are two two children there one is this chaitra is saying that uh, so whoever it is so i got confused with the name so let's say chaitra brings along two people and you do not know who this Two kids are. One is Chaitra's son, the other is Maitra's son. Chaitra is taking the taking his son to picnic or whatever to school, and the Maitra is is his friend. He brought along Maitra's son also. His father couldn't come. Maitra couldn't come. So now, if you look at that, you cannot make sense out of it. Who is Udeshya? What part is Udeshya there, and what part is Vidhya when he says makes a statement there? this is my son and that is maitra's son so if he is making that differentiation what is the amsha known to you that becomes uddeshya what is unknown in that sentence is vidheya so itam chaturbhi adikarane uddeshyatvena pratham jignyasya uddeshya because uddeshya has to be known in tattvamasi vakya if it is saying that tattvamasi you are that you have to know you you is uddeshya there because the person shweta ketu who was told as to you are uh that brahma he cannot say i do not know that brahma also i do not know who i am also and then make sense out of the sentence something should be known when it is said you that you should be known if you is not known then whatever the shastra tells about you cannot be known if i say if i hear and uh, the statement which is made i study and then i get the upadesha aham brahma asmi brahma i can say i do not know shastra is revealing asmi also shastra is revealing as to i am but then i itself i do not know what is i then the entire statement will not make sense anyway it will not going to make sense initially but i have to start somewhere to start somewhere the i amsha has to be known in tattvamasi tat is taught tvam amsha has to be inquired into that is also taught by the shastra because there is confusion but tvam has to be known in some way or the other nobody in the right frame of mind when asked the question who are you has no answer philosophically 
one may say oh, i really do not know all that is possible but anyone even a pamara who has absolutely no shastra gnana has no interest in shastra any shuddha laukika person a, a capitalist who has nothing to do with uh, the society's uh, uh, other ideas or uh, philosophies he has absolutely no interest he is a nastika complete even that person when you ask who you are he has an answer he or she has an answer if nothing i am a man i am a woman a complete bum who does nothing i mean uh, absolutely nothing also has an answer i am a man i am a woman so therefore this aham amsha has to be known is uddeshya then it can be taught as to that understanding being right or wrong and that has gone by now that kind of analysis has gone by uddeshyatvena prathamam jignyasyam what is this tvam padartha which i already know that has been looked into the one who has jagrata avastha swapna avastha and susupti avastha who continues across all this is a common entity not changing unchanging when the waker dreamer and deep sleeper changes still this jiva who is part and parcel of all three states is not changing that unchanging jiva is you is the meaning of tvampada uddeshyate uddeshyate na prathamam jignyasyam it has to be inquired into at the very first step first that that analysis has to be done tvampadartham saprakasha chidekarasam sarvavastha vinirmuktam nirvishesham samshodya and having inquired into it what is the conclusion what is this tvam padartha what is meant by you in the tattvamasi mahavakya that tvam padartha meaning of that tvam padartha is saprakasha chidekarasa saprakasha self effulgent which makes the swapnavastha clear where there is no help available external help available and still all the objects are seen externally heard externally through all the sense organs in the dream state whatever can be known all that is lit up by one self that one self is the meaning of the tvam padartha so it is saprakasha without which the dream state cannot be lit up the objects cannot be lit up the sentient beings in the G, in the dream state including this dreamer who is a waker in the dream state dream sleep state that dreamer also is lit up the dreamer sharira indriyas and the rest of the beings including the sun which lights up the others as it appears to be that dream sun is also created by this very jiva dreamer jiva therefore saprakasha is the nature swayam prakasha is the nature of this jiva and chidekarasa nobody else needs to tell him in the dream or in the waking state that you are such and such a person nobody needs to tell this person that he was asleep he wakes up and knows that i was in deep sleep he knows his gnana as well as ajnana nobody can tell you you know nobody can tell you you do not know you know yourself your knowledge as well as ajnana therefore saprakasha chidekaras chaitanya swarupa and ekarasa this chaitanya is the very nature ekarasa there is no segmentation there there is no division possible in that entity who is going through the various states who is objectifying as a subject but that subject is undivided objects can be divided into many but this subject cannot be divided at all this subject takes the role of other subjects meaning as a father as a son etc but this subject is undivided that undivided ekarasa tom is the tom pada artha meaning of the tom pada <coughs> sarvavastha vinirvuktam and who continues in the three states but is not limited by these three states without these three states also he is there without jagrata avastha this jiva lives on without this apna avastha the jiva lives on without the shushupti avastha the jiva lives on therefore this jiva is sarvavastha vinirmukta tom pada artha is that jiva who is separate from the waker dreamer and the deep sleeper 
who does not have these three states but is pervading all these three states nirvishesham samshodya so without the characteristics of the waker dreamer and deep sleeper which are separate from each other that is the vishesha and this jiva is nirvishesha is without those characteristics at all he is free from those waker's dharmas dreamer's dharmas and the shushupta's dharmas who does not have ajnana also samshodya having looked at this particular tampada analyzed it as to what is its artha and landed on that samshodya tad jignasa uparamanantaram when you pause after that analysis tampada analysis then avasara sangatya when you take a pause you think as to what is what next has to be done there avasara sangatya vidheyatvena then in the tattvam asi mahavakya tampada is understood what about that tatpada now and asi pada so asi cannot be understood unless the tatpada is also understood therefore vidheyatvena you know, what is predicated given as a vidhi you are that so you shabda has been understood tampada artha is known now what is that for that vidheyatvena you, know, you are that oh i am predicated to be that what is that that is a pronoun what does it stand for vidheyatvena you know, jignasyam it has to be analyzed jignasyam tatpadartham this tatpadartha which has to be inquired now and which is taught by the shastra predicated as the meaning of what that meaning of you stands for tampada artha is equated with the tatpadartha tat and tam are equated meaning the padarthas are equated not the padas tat and tam padas will always remain separate but what is the tatpada artha and tampada artha tampada artha we have landed on now which is avastha tre sarvavastha vinirmukta and by sarvavastha you can take maranavastha also murchavastha also it is separate from all those as well and saprakasha chidekarasa this is the tampadartha what is tatpadartha now to understand tatpadartha we have to see what tat stands for then what is the tatpada artha and then understand that as the shastra reveals it so vidhiyatvena jignasyam tatpadartham that tatpadartha which has to be inquired into which is taught as the meaning of you shodayitum to understand that pada shesham aravamana the remaining of this pada what is remaining in this pada pada shesham aravamana to begin that beginning that rather beginning the rest of the pada in this second pada what is remaining is the analysis of to begin that uh, what is remaining there pada shesham aravamana so this section 11 su- sutra onwards in the second pada is the beginning of the rest of the pada that's what it means so aravamana murcha avasthaya viruddha shushupti maranavastha ubhay dharma vatvat vatva vat brahmana api ubhay rupatvam bhavatu purva pakshi says that just like murcha avastha which has gone by in the early radhikarana that murcha avastha was analyzed by the siddhanti as what as viruddha shushupti marana avastha ubhay dharma vatva vat it was said to be murtha avastha yah what does murtha murcha avastha have murcha avastha has dharmas which are opposed to dharma vatvam it has dharmas which are ubhaya they are, it has both dharmas what both dharmas it has marana avastha dharma also shushupti marana avastha and the viruddha also so viruddha shushupti marana avastha ubhaya dharma vatva vat brahmana api ubhay rupatvam bhavatu if murcha avastha can have shushupti and marana avastha in marana one will not come, come back but in shushupti one will come back therefore half the dharmas are there and thereby you concluded that both may be there you can say ardha shushupti and what does it mean really partially this partially that whatever it is murcha avastha is taken an example to say that if it is possible to say that partially this kind partially that kind and include them together into one entity and say one entity can behave like two at the same time 
in that case why not say brahma also is one entity that can behave in both manners as saguna as well as nirguna this is how the connection has formed in the brahma sutra brahmana api ubhay rupatvam bhavatu says the purva pakshi iti drishtanta avantara sangatya idamaha this is the avantara sang what is the earlier sang- uh, first sangati given avantara sangati is secondary sangati this is a secondary connection between the earlier uh, adhikarana and this adhikarana the, before this jignasa uparamanantara avasara sangatya avasara sangati is in prasanga you have got an opportunity to look at tampadartha now tatpada analysis is over tampada uh, sorry tampada analysis is over tatpada analysis remains to be there therefore you have landed on this uh, there is an avasara avasara is an opportunity to look into tatpada now therefore that is the sangati whereby smoothly you are going from tampada to tatpada analysis now that is one sangati which is the main sangati and secondary sangati is that oh let brahma also have both kinds of dharmas like the murcha avastha has both kinds of dharma since it is possible at one place why not is it possible with brahma as being nirvishesha and savishesha thereby ubhalinga adhikarana comes up we we'll look at the sutra proper in the next part amnayante samsiddham adhi madhyanta varjitam anand ghanam apurnam atma jyoti rupasmahe नमस्ते धन्यवाद नमस्ते